So as we enter a brand new year, it is important to find a to-do list application that best suits you. We've picked out 10 and we're going to list them below and I can't wait to dive into this list. Our sponsor for this video is Ample Note, a note-taking application with powerful task management. And before we begin, I want to hone in on three features. Number one is Task Score. Ample Note collects all the tasks from your notes to create a sorted to-do list. Tasks that are urgent, important, or quick to get done accumulate more task score. The second feature is a two-way sync with one or more Outlook calendars. And finally, your team can collaborate in a shared workspace simply by tagging a note with a shared tag. When writing together, it's super useful to add a footnote with some extra details or even an image or a tweet or a spreadsheet. A huge thanks to Ampernote for coming on and sponsoring this video. So let's begin. We have listed these as based on their reputation and reliability. So you can find a full list of these guys below. So let's start with the first one and that is Todoist. Now this has been on the market for some time now and it's a great all rounder application. You could give this to somebody to manage their groceries or you could use this as a pro experience for managing a system like GTD. It is so flexible in its nature. Now, Todoist has a wide range of features, but one of the most loved features inside of the premium is their filters and labels, allowing you to really add more detail to each task you add. But in general, this application allows you to add subtasks, connects with popular apps like Google Calendar, and many more and it works on all devices in a great reliable experience as you've got the developer Doist building this application so you know it's reliable and stable. This application I actually used for about uh, eight years and I find it to be one of the best to do this applications right now. Now moving on to Tick Tick. Tick Tick has been again on the market for some time now. We actually chatted with the team a little bit of time ago, so you can check that interview out below. It's actually the to do list application of choice for MKBHD, the YouTuber, and he finds it to be a really great way to plan and organize what's coming up. One of the best features in this application is actually a premium feature called Calendar, which allows you to sort your tasks into using time blocking to set the day ahead, but it's also also got a week view for really planning and seeing what the week looks like alongside things like your events in your calendar. Now Tick Tick does come with a wide variety of features much like Todoist so people tend to um and ah between both of these two as to which one they go for. So the next one is AkiFlow and this is a fairly new entry for 2022 but I wanted to add it because it introduces a new sector to the market. It's really a daily planner. Now AkiFlow essentially helps you to to consolidate your to-dos into one place. So it's actually bringing together other applications. For example, the likes of Trello, Todoist, and many more applications can be connected to your Aki Flow. And actually you can bring in tasks from all of those experiences, as well as things like Gmail and even Google Calendar events, so that you can time block your day effectively. But this is actually really popular for those who are in teams that already use to-do list applications, and you don't necessarily necessarily want to keep switching over to all of these different applications, you can bring them in and consolidate them in one place. AkiFlow also has a calendar function, which allows you to block the time ahead, which is something that a lot of people like. So moving on to number four, a very similar one too is Sunsama. Now, I've actually been using this for a little bit of time. You can check out my tried review uh, below in the description, but this application is really interesting. It helps you to plan your day, but also it allows you to collaborate and connect with other applications like Sansama, Trello, and much like the way the AkiFlow works, help you to bring in experiences like that. But what Sansama does, much like AkiFlow, is pushes you to time block, which is a methodology used to help block your time and basically organize your calendar so that you're using the maximum amount of time and focusing more on a concept called deep work, which is developed by a chap called Cal Newport. So Sansama and AkiFlow, new entries, but super interesting as we enter the new year. The next one up is Things 3. This is developed by Cultured Code and it is no doubt the most beautiful of the to-do list applications. If you're somebody that's on iOS and Mac, this is going to be a 
really gorgeous choice, especially if you're into minimalist design that helps you to organize your to-dos for the day, but also connect your Apple calendar and reminders if you want. Things 3 is undoubtedly one of the most gorgeous applications, and unlike some of these other applications, it doesn't have a subscription plan, which means you only play a one-off fee. Depending on what devices you go up to, it could cost up to $80 as a one-off cost, which people find, if they're using it for a long period of time, to be a much more cost-effective way to buy their to-do list application. Number six is Sorted 3. Now, much like Todoist, it has a really friendly design, but Sorted 3 is more mobile orientated, allowing you to essentially use scheduling features to plan your day ahead. A lot of people like Sorted 3 for a variety of reasons, but the main one is actually just being able to add their tasks for the day and be able to choose timestamps for when you're gonna be doing them. And if, for example, you're delayed or you're overdue on certain tasks, being able to move them quite fast, which is a feature a lot of Sorted 3 users love. Number seven is Zenkit To Do. Now, Zenkit has been a application very interesting in the market for a little bit of time now, and mainly because they're building a suite of applications including a project manager, a chat application, and a note taker now. And Zenkit have Zenkit to do, which much in design follows the experience that Wunderlist offers. It does have a pro experience, but also a nice free plan to kick you off. And the features are very similar to Todoist and Wunderlist in the sense that they allow you to plan lists and use also smart lists and plan your week or month ahead. Next up is a long-standing application in the market, which is AnyDo. And this is really a fan for those who are people who like calendar and to-dos together. And it's very mobile centric with a very beautiful design, allowing you to connect your calendar events and see them alongside of your to-dos for the day. They have a great list functionality and a feature called Any Do Moments, which essentially asks you questions on the current task you're working on to help clear your list for the day and be a bit more orientated, sort of like hand-holding you when you're trying to get stuff done, but it's quite a nice feature because it really orientates towards what you've actually done in the day. Next up is Microsoft To Do. Now this is was officially the replacement for Wunderlist, but Microsoft to build a really reliable and stable application. And if you've got a Microsoft account or even a work account, you can connect it up to other applications in your Microsoft suite. But a lot of people like Microsoft to do for its simple nature, adding abilities, and also the themes that they introduced in this side of this application. Now, Microsoft to do is perfect if you're collaborating in a social way. So for example, let's say you have Microsoft to do and you wanna be able to share some chores in the household, then this is a really neat application for that. And finally, Omni Focus Free. This application has been on the market for donkeys. It is a really popular application when it comes to to-do list experience, and a lot of people like the way that it's designed. Again, it takes a lot of education to learn because uh, OmniFocus mainly orientates itself towards GTD, and the application is developed by the team at Omni Group. So they have a range of applications that sort of really in depth uh, in terms of helping you to do productivity oriented stuff, and it's really interesting application. We've got a great sort of tour of how Peter Uckies uses this. You can watch it here on the channel, but very much a pro tool and one for those who are GTD uh, orientated. So folks, as you can see, all of these applications are really fantastic for planning the day ahead. Now, one thing I'm gonna note is that this year it's gonna be the year where to-do list applications are potentially gonna struggle because they're gonna see a new competitor, daily planners. Daily planners are perfect for being able to plan the day ahead, unlike what to-do list applications do at the moment. To-do list applications tend to be a list of things to do, whereas daily planners are aiming towards sort of helping you to plan your day versus not necessarily just giving you a list of what's coming up. So it's going to be an interesting shift. We'll keep an eye on it. You can check out some of our Medium articles to dive a bit deeper. They'll be in the link in the description as well as with all of these applications. It was fantastic having you guys. If you want us to comment with some thoughts, feel free to do that below. But please do hit subscribe and the like button and I will see you all in a future video on Keep Productive. Cheers everyone.